Hello, welcome back to part two of my collection. This is for my YouTube channel and remember to like and subscribe to it. Thank you, it'd be much appreciated. Today I'm looking at the flutes I've been using over the years. I'm going to start off with this. This is the flute I actually started on. It's a pretty basic Boozy and Hawks Emperor um, and I went through it for all my training actually and uh, the first bands I played in. I did actually use it for my first solo albums and then Van Gogh uh, all the way up to uh, Zero to Infinity, Live to Infinity and all those flute salads played on the um, album of flute salads were recorded on this. Next is my main flute, my current flute. This is a Muromatsu, beautiful flute. Um, I got it around 2001, just in time for uh, Hot the Sun and the Anya Garbrecht album and tours. Um, uh, really like this, I use this on absolutely everything. Um, so all the soft machine gigs and albums and um, tours and all the tracks and flutes, up, everything basically since about 2001. Next are my alto flutes. I actually have two alto flutes, both Trevor James models. One's the Master Series, one's the Recycle Series. I love the alto flute, it's one of my favourite instruments of all. Um, this one is the one I used on all the Travis and Frick recordings, all the uh, live looping using alto flutes. It works particularly well uh, using the electronics uh, and building up those lovely textures. This is my other alto flute, Trevor James uh, recital model. Uh, beautiful, just a different sound. It has a different mouthpiece and a different sound comes with it. thing about the alto flutes is they have this deep rich sound it's a fourth lower than a concert flute so actually when I'm playing a C it sounds a, a, a G below and, and everything is slightly bigger sound slightly richer slightly warmer slightly more mysterious which is one of the things I particularly like about the tone. Then finally I have my bass flute this is uh, another Trevor James uh, flute, um, beautiful bass flute. This was actually a prototype, I call it model theater track. I haven't used this live at all, but I've recorded various things with it. Really, uh, it comes to life in the studio. So I think I first recorded uh, with it for Annie Garbrecht's Smiling and Waving album. And then quite a bit on the Travis and Frick Follow album where I did a flute quartet, a bass flute, two alto flutes, and a concert flute. Uh, there's a track called Hear Our Voices, uh, which has a really uh, strong bass part just done on this. Very nice sound. This is an octave below the concert flute, so a very deep sound. So thank you very much everybody, um, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed hearing a little bit about the flutes and some of their history. Um, I do play the flutes an awful lot these days, so um, it's really an important part of, of, of what I do.
Next up is going to be part three. Lots of different instruments, uh, different sounds, um, and I'll talk, talk you through what they're all about. Thank you very much, and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you again.